Hey guys, it's Damien from Marketing Food Online. I hope you're having a great day today. Um, I wanted to do a video uh, in response to some emails that I was receiving about how to properly figure out the postage for bundles. Um, I did a couple videos on how you can increase your sales for your food products, or if you're looking to get into the reselling of food, how bundles can actually increase your overall profits and of course the individual um, amount that you make per order and per transaction your profits can be much, much higher because your price point is going to be higher when you bring together multiple products as a bundle. So with that being said, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so I, my question was, uh, why or how, how can I actually figure out if I'm bringing together uh, different size packages um, and different weights and such? How can I figure out exactly what the shipping could be or get, get an idea of what the shipping would be, how big of a box and all of that, which is a great question. Um, there's a lot of products that you can obviously you can get online. You can bundle them, bring them together, and you can change that size of a box from something that would normally be if you sold it individually, a very small box to something that would be kind of maybe an odd size or maybe a flat rate, or maybe something outside of the flat rate. So um, really quick, the answer to that would be buy the product, okay? And if you can get it locally, if you can get it at a store, um, if you get it online, that'd be fine. But get the product and bring it into your, your shop or your business and where, wherever you may be uh, working out of. Bring them together and take a look at the actual dimensions. And then figure out how would be the, what would be the best way and how would you ship it, okay? Um, now, let's say you're, you're probably thinking, well, Damien, I want to bring in, I want to offer like 50 different items. I'm not necessarily saying going out and buy 50 different items at the same time. But for instance, as an example, this one in particular, this question was about baby food products, um, some organic food products and some snacks and teething biscuits and such, which are great products for babies. And of course, they're, they're reused over and over and over. So uh, getting your customer to reorder these types of products is something that will happen because they definitely need them on either a weekly or monthly basis. So bringing together, let's just say you had three different different types of teething biscuits, you had some snacks, and then you had some other baby foods or those little uh, fruit pouches that the little babies like to, to eat that are already pureed. Um, bring together, figure out what your bundle is, number one. Okay, bring together uh, whatever it is that you want to ship as a bundle package. Go on to the websites that you're going to get them from. Um, as I recommended before, Walmart.com has a tremendous amount of very in, uh, inexpensive products that you can flip when you bundle them together and you can resell them and make a very good margin. So go on to walmart.com, pick out several of the items that you, you determined that you'd want to bring together as a bundle, get them uh, shipped to you. Now, once you get them, you'll have an idea physically, you'll have them in your hands and you can figure out what would be the best way to ship them. So then once you have the product as well, you'll be able to take the pictures, take the image of them bundled together. If you're gonna be going on eBay, uh, the one thing that eBay has that it's, makes it a little more difficult is that there's a lot of images people try to pull off of the internet and then post on eBay. Um, they have n now they have new type type of standards, image image quality standards they, they call them for the photos that you post on eBay. Okay, so when you bring together these bundles, you have them together. Take the picture, utilize that picture because pulling them off of the internet sometimes they will not post and they won't go on to eBay. Okay. Um, they try to do that, I believe, pretty much for the reason that the, the image qualities on, on a lot of, of the images going on eBay, they want to make sure they're good, um, but also the fact that a lot of people were taking images off of the, uh, off of the internet, posting them on eBay, it's selling products that they never really actually had in stock. But if you've got a photo from your bundle specifically, then you're good to go and you can actually take individual images and photos of those products separately. And if you wanted to offer them, let's say one product, but you have a six pack you wanted to offer, and you have six different products and you bring them together, that creates one unique product. So once you've got your own images, then you're good to go. You can upload them on eBay. Of course, you can sell them. Um, if you happen to be uh, approved through the grocery on Amazon, you can also sell them through your own website. So that would be the best way I would recommend you to figure out exactly how to ship and then what would be the best way. So if you've got those products, now the other part of that, that answer would actually be if you offer a variety of that single product and it's shaped in a certain size, okay, that will allow you to figure out going forward if you offer them in, in different package sizes, they're all going to be the same. So that way you know the postage and you're going to figure out the shipping and handling. Okay, so number one, how do I figure it out? How do I figure out exactly uh, what size box for the specific bundle that I'm going to create? Buy the product get it in your hands, 
And then here's the thing is that a lot of times if you buy them locally at a grocery store, let's say you go to a Walmart near you, and let's say you buy them at a retail store, bring them home and take a look at them, you can always bring them back. Now, I, I, don't, I don't necessarily a big fan of going there and buying stuff and returning it constantly, but get an idea or even go to the store and even measure the packaging. You know, once you just get the dimensions and you understand the basics of the sizes, then you can really figure out what kind of a box can I put this in and then how can you do it based upon your bundling. Okay, if you get a product and you have the dimensions for one specific product and you're going to sell six of them, obviously just take the dimensions and you multiply all that by six. That way you can just figure out how, what kind of a box you can ship it in. So as well, the other thing to keep in mind is some of them, if it happens to be a breakable or damage, a box that could be damaged, think also about the packaging material, okay? When you're shipping the product, if it happens to be bubble wrap or tissue paper or whatever newsprint paper that you're going to put into the box, keep that in mind because that's gonna take up space within the box, okay? So at the end of the day, if you're ever curious about a specific product, and actually no matter what it is, buy the product or get the dimensions of the product itself. And then from there, you can create your bundles and then move forward with, well, it's going to cost $10.99. It's going to cost $12.99. Maybe it costs $9.99. Um, I can get these in a regional A box or maybe a flat rate box. So that way you can determine it prior to having it. So you're not having to go out and buy uh, 7,000 pieces of inventory because you want to know what all of these different sizes are. Simply go out there and get them and measure them or get the dimensions and you're good to go. Now, one other great thing that is on um, specifically walmart.com is that a lot of the packaging, a lot of the description information, if you go on to click a product, you click the, uh, the picture of a certain product, the information about that product pops up. And Walmart's pretty good about having a lot of information about the product to make you as informed as possible that you can make the decision to buy a product. Um, and in the description area, it actually will have the dimensions. It will actually have a lot of the package sizes and such. And from there, even, you could take them and figure out, hey, you know what? I want to pull this product, this and this and this, and I'm going to bring them together for a bundle. So what is the size? And then you could basically take all of those measurements that they offer and you're good to go. You've already figured out the box size, okay? Um, for some of the products that you may have, there may be information uh, that's not listed there for the dimensions of the package. So that would be something you'd have to go either buy or get. Or like I said before, simply go to the store and kind of just, I don't want to say measure tape, get a measuring tape, but you can get the dimensions off of the package super easy. And then from there, move forward. So I hope that answers your question. That makes it easy um, and, and a lot less stressful to try to figure out how to ship and how to understand the package dimensions when you start to bundle. Uh, because once you do it, it's, it's like I said before, you've established these listings. Once you get them up and running, um, that's when the profits will start coming in and you can be making some really, really good money. Uh, bundles are a fantastic a concept, great idea. And I came across them, like I said, a few years ago. Um, and that's something that I do now. Um, and the per, uh, per price transactions, the amount of money that we make on certain bundles is much, much better than it would be if you sold it individually. So I hope that helped. If it did, please do give me a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber to my channel and you are looking to sell food or you're looking to do a private label, I can help you with all of that. We've got nearly 300 videos. So thank you guys.